Let's look at this limit, the limit when x approaching to 16, or minus square root of x over 16x minus x squared. As usual, let's plug in 16 to x to see what we get. 4 minus square root of 16, which is 4 minus 4, we have a 0 on the top. On the denominator, 16 times 16 minus 16 squared, we also end up with 0 on the bottom. We have to do more work. In this case, because we have the square root on the top, right, the 4 minus square root of x, let's multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate first. I will multiply the top by 4 plus square root of x and the bottom the same. Multiply that with 4 plus square root of x. And in this case, we are going to end up with, okay, still have the limit when x approaching to 16. And then on the top, this is going to be 4 times 4, the 4 square, which is 16, minus the square that square of square root of x is equal to just x. On the bottom, we are not going to multiply this out. But then we do see that this can be factored because both of them have an x. Look at this, I can take on x. I will have x, parentheses, we have a 16 left, minus another x, like that. And then I will bring this down, 4 plus square root of x. And notice that 16 minus x, 16 minus x, they can cancel each other out. Something on the top cancel with something on the bottom. At the end, what we can do is, Plug in 16 into all the remaining x. We have a 1 left on the top. Over, this becomes 16. And then we multiply with 4 plus square root of 16 inside of the parentheses. And let's see what we get for that. And this is going to give us 1 over 16 times 4 plus 4, which is going to be 8 times 16 on the bottom. Altogether, 1 over 8 times 16, we have 128. And this right here will be the answer.